Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad, and I don't know if you know this about me, but I really love sports. I love to play sports, I love to watch sports. My favorite one to play, though, is basketball. Maybe it's because I'm tall, I don't know, but I have been so excited watching all the basketball going on right now with men and women. We got WNBA for the women and NBA for the men all playing right now so this is kind of my basketball season that I get to enjoy so maybe we get to draw a basketball and a basketball hoop what do you think awesome okay well cool well, let's get uh, make sure we have all of our tools and uh, let's get started all right make sure we have a nice clean sheet of paper out we're going to obviously need a pencil for what that's right for our sketching we always do our sketches and uh, we're gonna make some mistakes and I'm sure and we're gonna need to erase some things anyway so make sure you have an eraser handy and then at the very end we're gonna need to do an outline with a dark marker or a pen so have something like that handy and then after we're all done with our drawing we gotta do some coloring which is I wish this thing squished like my old pack of markers that would have been kind of cool but regardless I'm really excited to get coloring uh, you don't have to have markers you can have I don't know, crayons, color pencils, whatever you want, paints, uh, it all works. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with our sketch. Now, if you want, you can bring in a ruler or something straight to help you draw straight lines because we're gonna draw two rectangles. We're gonna draw a big rectangle and then a little rectangle for our backboard. Uh, and we're gonna do it a little bit, let's see, let's just start drawing our backboard right about, right about here. So let's draw a straight line all the way across here. Again, this is if you if you need help with drawing a straight line, ruler is really handy for that. We'll draw it straight down here, like this. I'll move this stuff out of the way. Try to get another straight-ish line right there. Now it's a rectangle, so don't draw a square. You want to draw something almost a square. It's just a stretched out one. All right, so now we got to draw a big oval right here because this is going to be the rim where the ball goes in, or you can call it the hoop, whatever you call it. I have a friend from the south, and he calls it a goal. He calls the basketball hoop a goal, which I didn't, I never grew up calling it that. So maybe you do, and you're drawing a goal. All right, so I'm gonna draw two rings, actually. I'm gonna draw one oval. I'm gonna draw oval a little bit bigger around it it's kind of messy but it's all right <laughs> we'll clean it up as we go all right so is that looking good we got two ovals inside of each other and we'll do some erasing here in a second but let's go ahead and draw the rest of the parts of our backboard so we also have this little red box right in the middle or white sometimes but there's an extra little box here telling you where you can shoot the ball and bounce it off the backboard which is this big thing and it goes into the hoop. It's a really nice handy thing to have because when you can see it, you know exactly where to put the ball so that I can go in the hoop for you. I love doing little bank shots. All right, so we're gonna do another rectangle right here and kind of have it come up to the top of our oval. So we're looking at this with a little bit of a little bit of perspective, meaning we're not seeing it just flat like this, we're seeing it at an angle so that you can see that this is an actual circle. Otherwise, you would just be drawing a line and you really wouldn't see that this is a, a circle. The rim isn't circular. So this kind of gives us an idea of what this is, what this actually looks like. So that's why I drew it like that. Okay, so we drew one. Now we gotta draw another one inside here, like this. Just draw one right inside. You could draw it as thick or as thin as you want like that. Ooh, it's looking pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna draw some lines on the edge here. Sometimes they're just lines, sometimes they're actually rubber bumpers, just so people don't get hurt when they're jumping up there. Maybe they hit their head or something. Now, I typically don't have that problem because I don't jump that high, but NBA players, men who play basketball, their average height is about 6'7". That is huge. 6'7", I'm 6'3", and I feel very, very tall, and they're a lot taller than me. There are men in the NBA who are over seven feet tall. That is a really tall human being, but it helps to be tall in this game, doesn't it? 
easier to get it in the hoop, easier to block shots. All right, so we got most of our backboard done. Now we need to draw our net. That's what we're missing. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go to the corners of our, or edges of our oval, and we're gonna kinda of go in a little bit and come back out like that. So go in a little curve, and then come back out. There we go. Now sometimes this is string, and sometimes it's even, it's even metal. They do chains for outside so they can last longer. And then there's a little pattern that you can do. Now you can do this however you want. Maybe you just wanna close it off at the end, or maybe you wanna add a little jagged part at the end, and that's totally fine. I think I might just do some lines in a little pattern like this. I'm gonna go at an angle right here. Now if it's just, I don't think it's very clear where my rim is, so I'm gonna kinda make that a little bit better. There we go. So I got that. And then I'm gonna go on this side, and I'm gonna go across like that. So it's just a little pattern I'm doing because I wanna make sure that those ends match. And then all I have to do is go and copy this over and over again with these diagonal lines like that. And then I'll go up here and do the same thing. All right, now we'll go to this side. We'll do that again. Did you know that originally, when they first made up this game of basketball, oops, I'm gonna try to connect them there. When they first made up this game of basketball, I'm gonna erase this one, sorry, before I, <laughs> before I continue on. I'm gonna erase that little one because I think this works better, it has somewhere to go. Uh, when they first made basketball for the third time, they used a peach basket. So it wasn't a little string and a metal rim it was just a peach basket. And it didn't even have a backboard. Isn't that funny? All they did was use a peach basket and they didn't have a backboard, but the problem was is that people in the crowds who were watching the game, people play it, basketball, decided that they wanted to try to block the shots being put in there. And so they actually made the backboard as something to block the people watching the game <laughs> from interfering with the basketball game. Isn't that kind of crazy? So they used chicken wire originally, chicken wire in the background. So they had a peach basket and chicken wire. That seems pretty interesting. I'd like to see what that looked like. But that'll keep the people from putting their hands out there and blocking the basketball. I thought that was pretty crazy. All right, okay, now we are missing I think a basketball, don't you think? I think we're missing the basketball. <laughs> Let's add that, maybe right up here, we'll have the basketball maybe coming in right here and we'll draw a big circle. Now, if you need help drawing a circle and you wanna make it a perfect circle, maybe just use like the cap of something or a lid, something round that you can use or a cup and then you can use that to help you make a better circle. So I'm just gonna draw, this is kind of my trick. I don't try to use my wrist, I try to use my whole arm if I can and just try to go around and around until it's the right size. I feel like that's the right size. And then I just take the outside line. Like that. There we are. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need to do a little bit of erasing here because I got a lot of lines going on and we need to get rid of that. So I'm gonna erase all the stuff in the middle. We're gonna have this overlapping our, our backboard. And then maybe some of this little stuff in here. I don't wanna keep all these lines. So if you want, you can erase that. You can keep those in there. It, it's really not important. Maybe, maybe we can, I don't know. We'll see. Once I get to coloring, I kinda of make more decisions there. Uh, but we need to make the lines on the basketball. This is how I draw basketball because this is the pattern that they have on there to help the players grip the ball. And it goes like this. You kind of do one curve like this. You do another curve like this. You do one straight line down the middle. And then you do another line going the opposite way in the middle. Pretty easy, huh? But what's really cool about that design is that it helps you hold it, and grip the ball, but also shoot it better. Because I like to move the ball until I can feel the little ridges on there to be able to shoot it. 
Alrighty, I think we got all the pieces to our hoop. What else can we add here? Maybe you want to add, oh, let's do this. Maybe you can add some lines here. <laughs> that we're shooting at. Or you can have kind of those little motion lines. I like to call those little motion lines. You just do a couple little lines on the sides there and it looks like it's moving. And it's flying in here. You can do whatever you want there. Maybe you want to put some stickers on your backboard. I might just maybe put some reflections on the backboard. So sometimes to show that things are glass and you're just using one color and just lines. I'll just do a few little lines like this and it looks like it's shiny. I'm not sure how that works, but it, it does. <laughs> and that'll kind of look like you got uh, glass going on in the back. So you can go ahead and make this however you'd like. If I might, I might actually even make this a little bit taller. I don't know. There's little adjustments that I'll make here and there. But right now, I need to move on to my marker to do my final outline. All right, let's go down here on the sides. Now, every time I play basketball, I always wish I was taller. But you know what? You don't necessarily have to be super tall. There was one NBA basketball player whose name was Muggsy Bogues. And he was really, really, really good. And guess what? He was only five foot three. That's not very tall at all. And because he was only five foot three, he had to just change how he played the game and he was a really good ball handler and you know what he could still dunk the ball I'm 6'3 like I said and I have a hard time dunking a ball nowadays <laughs> meaning I can't dunk a, ball, dunk a basketball anymore because I haven't worked out those muscles but you know what you can train your body to do amazing things and he did and he was able to play against people that were you know almost seven feet tall or over seven feet tall and he was able to play and compete with them. That is so cool. That just shows you that you can really do most anything you want. You don't have to look at things as limitations, like his height. Maybe he thought, you know, I'm not tall enough to play. I mean, heck, I don't think I'm tall enough to play in the NBA. But clearly, clearly you can. If you put the hard work into it, you can play you can play it something like that, which I think is really, really a neat story and a good lesson. All right, so we need to draw this rim right here. So let's draw the outside first. Now, do any of you play basketball? I've played since I was a little kid. I played it, and now my son, who's eight years old, he loves to play it too and it makes me so happy because we can play together and I get to help teach him how to play which is really really fun and it's great exercise my daughter says she wants to play too so we're really excited to get her into basketball as well all right let's do this Ooh. I'm excited to see how your guys' turn out because I always love seeing what you guys make for one. But two, you have a lot of room here to kind of make it your own. Maybe you're going to color the basketball differently. I know the basketball is a slightly different color uh, in women's basketball in the WNBA. It's also sometimes different in different parts of the world. So I'm really curious to see what a basketball looks like for you. Okay, let's get the rest of these lines in here. Oh, well, that was a little off, but that's okay. I used to have a basketball outside, and it had a chain net on there, and it was really fun because every time you made a swish or you hit it and didn't, when you threw it in the hoop and didn't hit the rim, it would go swish, but it also go ching, a little money sound. It was pretty cool. There we go. I'll draw those lines for what? That's right there for grip. The ball used to be a really, really dark brown leather. And the legend has it, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but they made it orange because they wanted it easier to see. 
Now, I'm not really sure if that's 100% true, but it kind of makes sense. And these are those lines for the movement. And, you know, I might want to make a few. I'll make a few lines over here to show that we're shooting it. There we go. That way you can see it just going, boop, dropping into the hoop. All right, the last few little things on here, maybe those little lines here to show that this is glass. This is the way I draw windows and things too. Okay, well, I might add a little few more little maybe dots here. Alrighty, well, I think we're at the point now where we can just go through and uh, erase all of our uh, pencil sketch underneath here and start coloring. But uh, you obviously don't need to follow me um, with all the coloring, so I'll go through and do all that, but we can meet up right after and uh, see how we did. done awesome well we got our basketball hoop and our basketball all finished i added a few other little details added some little dots on there because if you look at some of those balls they have little tiny little dots all over them for added grip so i wanted to add a few of those but actually i'm really excited to see what yours look like and you can send in your work anytime i'd love to see what you guys are making just tag us at brave kids art club on instagram or you can have your parents send them directly to us through email or on instagram as well but uh, I just love to see what you guys are making. And at the end of the week, of course, we always show off some of the work that you've done. Well, hopefully you guys really enjoyed yourselves. And I am very proud of what I made. So I need to go ahead and sign my work before we are done here. So I'm going to go here to the bottom, put my initials, and we'll mark this uh, project complete. Again, you guys are awesome. If you guys enjoy watching these videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video specifically, please drop it a like. And before you go, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.